Dallas Cowboys game night is presented by AT&T. Geico, switch today and see all the ways you could save. Miller Lite, the only beer of the Cowboys. It's Miller time. And by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. 44 to 20, the Dallas Cowboys get win number four in a row as they improve to four and one for the first time since 2016. And they get a win 44 to 20, 24 point win over the New York Giants. And they take a commanding lead in the NFC East. Welcome into Cowboys game night from the star in Frisco alongside six time Pro Bowler, three time Super Bowl champ Nate Newton. I'm Kyle Yeomans and Nate, once again, the Cowboys all three units provided uh, some sort of spark in this win. Couple turnovers from the defense, the Cowboys offense over 500 yards for the first time this season. But what impressed you the most? Just the, the maturity, the consistency, they're growing every week. Things didn't go so well in the first half, but they played through that. And they came back in the second half and put their stamp on this game and closed it out with some big plays. And as long as they continue to do that, just overcome the mistakes, don't repeat them, and they'll be okay. How big was this to, to have a couple mistakes early, kind of wield those punches a little bit, and then turn around and, and close things out the way that they did? Hey, and that all starts with Zeke and the offensive line, and the way they did it. They opened up. Coach uh, Keller Moore wanted to let them know that we was going to be physical this game. And then we uh, finished the game with a flash with Tony. Tony Pollard had CeeDee Lamb coming out of the backfield, had Dak doing his thing. Just people playing consistent and doing what they needed to do. This game was tied up at 10, and the Cowboys then exploded after that, scoring uh, 34 of the next 44 points in the ball game. And the Cowboys really showed that they are indeed contenders, and they're for real. Here's what Mike McCarthy had to say at the podium following the 24-point win over the Giants. Okay, David. Yeah, Mike. Just uh... – a little bit of a sloppy start for you guys, but both sides of the ball, you kind of worked through that and rotted yourself second half. You know, I, I think that, you know, like anything, you, you start a season, um, you know, and your preparation and your performance is totally different. Uh, but I really like the way the team has been preparing all month. Um, but, you know, it came into today uh, with a ton of energy. And I, I think, you know, you know, New York made some plays and, um, you know, we, but uh, for the most part, I thought this, for this particular game, we were, extremely productive for four quarters. Um, I know we had the turnovers, <clears throat> the giveaways in the first half, uh, but that, that was probably our only blemish. Uh, I thought the way we ran it and the way we threw it, um, you know, they, you know, they, they countered just like you think they would and obviously losing, you know, both, uh, you know, Daniel and Saquon is obviously factored, but, you know, I, I like the way we played today. Uh, we improved as a team. I mean, the most important thing, we won the game, but, uh, I thought our productivity uh, went up a notch, and and, and that's and we needed that. That's something we emphasized all week: um, the ability to, you know, just keep playing, not have the laws. You know, we, we've had a couple of laws in these first four weeks, but uh, we clearly had. I didn't feel like that happened today. You find that energy that you mentioned coming from the defense as much as the offense? Oh, I think it's all the way through. I mean, I you know, it's you know, I I'm a defer, you know, prefer defer, but I, I think just with the way we're starting games and. Um, just some of the other factors, you know, we, you know, taking the ball, and uh, I think that's uh, not a bad way to start. And it's a reflection of how our guys are coming into the game and uh, just, just the energy and focus that they bring. You talked about this stretch being the first quarter of the season. Uh, you, you touched on it here, but just such a different feel, I guess, than coming out of this game in week five last year with the injury to Dak and just kind of where you are now versus them. Yeah, I don't even think you can compare us, this team, to last year's team. It's, it's Different on so many different fronts, um, but we're clearly, you know, we've we've competed, you know, five times now, and 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 I, I felt like we've we have um, have played you know winning football in all five contests, and you know, but we were looking for more production um, today, and, and I felt like we took a step in the right direction. You know, now I'm, I'm opposed to jump up and down with the two giveaways, but you know that's that's for another day. But it's. Uh, you know, we took a step today. You know, that's a division rival. Uh, it's, it's a big game on, on all fronts. I, I was very impressed with the way they they won at New Orleans, you know, last last week. And uh, so we, we were expecting a confident team today, and they, they were confident, and they came to fight. And uh, But, you know, I, I thought we did a lot of good things today. Okay. 
Cowboys are indeed playing winning football. They're now 2-0 inside the division and 3-0 at AT&T Stadium. When we come back here on Cowboys game night, we hear from Trayvon Diggs, who had another interception now up to six in the first five games of the year right after this. This segment is brought to you by the Texas Lottery. The Dallas Cowboys scratch ticket from the Texas Lottery is your ticket for a chance to win up to $100,000. Get your Dallas Cowboys scratch ticket today. Must be 18 or older to purchase a ticket. Play responsibly. The Cowboys now have nine straight games with multiple takeaways on the defensive side of the football. One of those takeaways today was an interception from one Trayvon Diggs, who's pretty used to going to the podium after having a pick. He's done it in every single game this year. Here's what he had to say in Arlington. Um, I was, they was in, a, uh, I think they was in 12th, and when they get in formation like that, it's more so like play action, play action pass, deeper routes, you know, max protect, so, you know, I had belt, and, you know, I was reading my keys, seeing he ran a post route, and then just made a play on the ball. Where was the ball when you first saw it? Was like coming down? Was it halfway up there? Where was it? Um, I just seen him, quarterback throw it. And then, you know, from there I could judge where the ball is going to be, where the ball is going to be placed. So, you know, I just made a play on the ball. Well, were there two other ones in the first half that you looked like you had a beat on to maybe intercept? Yeah, the one uh, thing was a double move. I uh, kind of tried to run like an out, uh, jump, then get my feet in. Um, and then another one, he ran an over route. And I, I think I dropped that one. But I had it in my hands, and I dropped that one. Have you explained to your son, uh, because he's become kind of a celebrity throughout all this, that what you're doing doesn't happen all the time, that this is kind of a big deal for, for a player in your position? Uh, I don't think he understands that yet. <laughs> Eventually when he gets older, you know, if I you know, do what I'm supposed to do, you know, it, it'll be written and, you know, he's going to be able to see it any time. Trayvon, I know that uh, team goals come first. Richard Sherman tweeted out you're the defensive player of the year. Do you have any personal goals going into the season? Or are you just taking it one game at a time? Uh, honestly, honestly, I'm taking it one game at a time. You know, uh, I got my goals at the end of the day, but you know, I'm really focused on one game at a time and just, you know, just trying to dominate. You know, just dominate everyone who come in front of me. You know, so you know that's just my main goal, and you know, I keep doing that step by step. You know, sky's the limit. I don't know where I can go. Even so, what does it mean when someone like Richard says something like that? And Dan was telling us earlier in the week that that's who he reminds or you remind him of. Uh, it's, it's amazing. You know, it's a blessing. You know, he's someone that, you know, I was watching college, you know, when I first converted to DV. I was looking like, hmm. If, when I got switched over to, de uh, to defensive back, I was like, hmm, who, who, can I, who can I watch that's similar to me, similar to my body type? And he was one of the guys that, you know, I was really watching. And that's when around, uh, when the Legion, uh, Legion of Boom was there. So, you know, I was watching him. You know, he was doing a great job on the field. And that's somebody I still, you know, look up to. He's got a tremendous amount of respect. So that means a lot to me. Dan Quinn has done a magnificent job really emphasizing the takeaway. The Cowboys now have a dozen through the first five games of the year. Came in second in the NFL in that category. Who knows where they'll be after week five. But what has been the difference this year compared to last year in terms of playing a winning defense and being able to find turnovers? Not missing your opportunities. These guys are not missing opportunities. When a ball gets up in there, when a the ball hits the ground, when it's an opportunity to get a sack or a pressure, these guys don't miss and they don't make mistakes, you know, and they make you pay for it. Even the, even the near misses, you know, it, it makes a quarterback weary. Somebody's going to understand that this kid is for real and they're going to stop throwing at them throwing at him after a while. Even outside of the interception he had, he touched the football four total times in yes, the game. He four. had his opportunities. Definitely. How about the rest of the defense? I mean, that's a huge thing as well, but we'll talk about that later on at the second level. When we come back here on Cowboys game night, we take a look at the offensive side of the football. Ezekiel Elliott over a century mark for the second straight week. This segment was brought to you by the Texas Lottery. The Dallas Cowboys scratch ticket from the Texas Lottery is your ticket for a chance to win up to $100,000. Get your Dallas Cowboys scratch ticket today. Must be 18 or older to purchase a ticket. Play responsibly. This segment is brought to you by GEICO. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. Ezekiel Elliott with a pair of touchdowns and over 100 yards for the second straight week as the Cowboys continue to see the ground game blossom 
Here's what Zeke had to say. Whichever way teams want to defend you, it seems like you guys have an answer for anything that, that they want to do to you. Um, yeah, it, it all starts up front. Uh, the O-line, you know, from the beginning of the game where they established the line of scrimmage, they uh, dominate the, the line of scrimmage, and um, they got their run game going, and uh, everything fell into place after that. What happened on the, uh, when you kind of fell near the pylon or on the pylon, what, what exactly, when you, when you slow to get up there? Yeah, I fell on the pylon. That thing is kind of hard. <laughs> Maybe we should find a new spot for it. <laughs> Most people think those are foamy and soft, but that's... Um, I think it is foamy, but it's hard. It's it's hard. And at the bottom, the base of it is hard, too. So, uh, no, nah, it's definitely not soft. Did you land on like, your hip or where did you get, where did you get uh, it? I landed, like, on my back, like in my ribs. Yeah, you. it must have really hurt because you instantly put your hand there. Oh, it did. did it feel like something was stabbing you? Yeah, it, it definitely hurt. Um, I mean, normally I get up, <laughs> at least get off the field, but right there I had to, <laughs> I had to chill out a little bit. But uh, yeah, I mean, kind of just stabbed me, uh, lost my win. Um, yeah. The, what does it say about this team that you guys didn't didn't really play that well, at least for the turnovers early, and still dominated? Um, yeah, uh, we didn't play that well. It was early. We turned the ball over in the in the red zone. That can't happen at all. Um, but uh, I mean, we, we got the job done. Uh, but we definitely gotta we gotta um, focus on you know playing a complete game. I think I think I said last week that's our next step as a team is playing a complete game and dominating the team from the first to the fourth quarter. So um, yeah, we got some some work to do. In some respects, is that the most encouraging? It's not like you guys are peaking here in October. There's still room to grow and still time to put together that effort. Yeah, I love it. Uh, I mean, I don't love it that, but I, I do. I am encouraged that, you know, our best football is ahead of us. Um, right now, we're not peaking. Uh, it's, it's a long season, and um, we, we want to make sure we're peaking at the right time. Um, but but uh, we got to just week in, week out, keep working uh, to reach and where we want to go. How good was that 98? It is a long season, but well, the rushing game is off to as good of a start as you could potentially have. Here you see some of the offensive numbers in the 44 to 20 win over New York. And again, a balanced attack. We've seen this week after week with the Cowboys over 300 yards passing and 200 on the ground. Nate Newton, you had uh, your own role in one of the most elusive rushing attacks in Cowboys football and NFL history. What makes this one that much special, or excuse me, that much more special than what we've seen since then? I tell you what, man, because they got two backs. They got Zeke and they got and they got Pollard. We just had Emmett. I mean, that was enough, more <laughs> than enough. But, you know, they got an explosion that they can have. They can hammer you with Zeke and still with some quickness and some moves. And then they can come back with Tony, who's a different uh, speed, of a, a different speed and different pace. So that, that's, the, that's the difference between us and them. And that change of pace happened again today. 110 yards for Ezekiel Elliott, 75 for Tony Pollard. When we come back, we hear from Leighton Vander Esch and what was a physical 44-20 win over the New York Giants. This segment was brought to you by GEICO. Switch today and see all the ways you could save. Welcome back to Cowboys game night as the Cowboys defeat the New York Giants 44 to 20. And a big reason for that, again, was the performance of all three levels of the Cowboys defense. Let's hear from the second level and Leighton Van Der Esch on what was a physical and chippy win over the Giants. Here on this homestand. What's the energy like in the locker room right now? Energy's awesome. It's great. Uh, it feels awesome. Um, I mean, we got a good thing going. Everyone, it just seems like everyone's growing closer and closer together every day. And so we just got to keep continuing that, keep uh, keep continuing to to do those things, spend time with each other and hang out and, and just form that, keep forming that bond. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's, going, it's going awesome right now question is premature given that we're five games into the season but do you feel does it feel different this team this season yeah, it feels a lot different uh, already like I said it's just just the camaraderie and the bond that we're already building um, you can tell there's something special here and, and I know it is early but uh, we just got to keep continuing to do to to keep building together and realizing that we're in this together and and we're only going to be 
be as good as strong as our weakest link. So we got to we got to bring everybody going, everybody along, and I think that's that's what we've been doing. Uh, we're a team full of leaders, so I think that 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 speaks wonders to to all the guys, and everyone steps up when they need to, and we'll speak up if they need to. Um, they're not just talking to talk. So um, we got we got a good thing going. No interceptions or turnovers are not guaranteed, but it seems the digs is getting this done every week. Are you yeah. even a surprise yourself? Yeah, it really, it's it's a sight to see, that's for sure. Uh, and he really could have had three tonight. Um, I told him that on the sideline, and he just kind of laughed and, and shook his head. But uh, the kid's a baller, and it just it astounds me how he goes and gets it every single day. And it starts in practice. It starts with how he's preparing uh, day in and day out. And so you got to give the credit to him. And I know he's, he's going to keep continuing the success of the season. So uh, we just got to keep stacking it day by day and not getting too far ahead of ourselves. I've been, I've been calling you guys an opportunistic defense. Could you talk about how you guys seem to be feeding off of each other and how it seems to give you guys momentum? Yeah, uh, I think we're taking pride in being in tough situations. Um, obviously, I mean, we were we were in some tough situations tonight, um, today, and I think we handled it extremely well. And I thought I think it just shows the poise and and just the confidence in our defense right now and, and knowing that the guy to our left or right and the guy in front of us behind us is, is going to be right there if something breaks down. Because, um, I mean, we got a lot of stuff to clean up, too, and we're far from perfect. Um, but it just shows the, the potential that we have as a group. The defense is certainly meshing, and here you see some of the numbers throughout the win over the Giants. Seven quarterback hits. You did not have a sack in the ball game, but a couple interceptions and they were flying all over sideline to sideline like we've seen in the past. There was something that Leighton Vander Esch said in that postgame interview that stuck out to me. A team full of leaders. Where does this team compare to the ones that you've seen in the past and uh, really kind of the way that they've meshed together as a group? Accountability. Believe and he said it, you know, if, if they have a breakdown, they know that guy behind them knows where to be and how to, how to make up for that breakdown. When you get responsible for one another, you start watching film as a group. And when that group breaks off, if you, if you don't understand, you go to the coach and you look at a little bit more film. They have been accountable to one another. So now I can talk to you. I can say, hey, Kyle, what do I need to do to get better to be an analyst? And you can give me an honest, uh, honest opinion. That's what these guys are doing for themselves. Well, I don't think you have anything to work on because <laughs> you're already a perfect analyst, Nate Newton. But when we come back here on Cowboys Game Night, the perfect analyst and I will wrap things up and look ahead to week six of the NFL season right after this from the star. Dallas Cowboys game night was presented by AT&T, Reliant, an NRG company, and by NFL Game Pass. You'll never miss a game again. Enjoy full and condensed game replays from week one to the Super Bowl. It was another 40 burger for the Dallas Cowboys. 44 to 20 in a win over the New York Giants. They are perfect at home and perfect in the division to start the 2021 campaign. And once again, they have done it as balanced as any attack in the NFL through the first five weeks of the season. Nate Newton, is this team for real? And did they show you they were tonight? Oh, they definitely for real, man. They doing what they have to do. They've shown you how to play from ahead. They've shown how to come from behind. They've shown you how to make mistakes in the first half and correct those mistakes. And now they're on a pace just to keep getting better and better and better. It seems like they continue to have that trend of a slow start, but they were able to really roll with the punches and continue on into a strong second half. They've won four straight games and they've scored 35 points in the last three of those. First time they've done that since week 14 through 17 of the 2014 season. Everything rolling for the Dallas Cowboys. Everything happy in Cowboys Nation. For Nate Newton, I'm Kyle Yeomans. That does it for us in the Week 5 edition of Cowboys Game Night.